Hello there, welcome back to the channel. And this episode is analyzing the Karima Freighter or Karima Starship. This vessel was the mainstay of the trading nation state and member of the Dominion known as the Karima. A power local to the Gamma Quadrant, they were members of the Dominion from an unknown time period, and this was one of the mainstay vessels that they had. The Karima were a trading giant, and their vessels reflected their culture and their mindset. Before we get started, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, share this video around because it's... I'm not going to make that rhyme again, I did that in the last video. My channel's growing! I'm very happy about this. Help me celebrate by sharing this video around, giving it a like, and comment, all of which is helping the channel expand and letting me dedicate a bit more time to this than what I have done in the past. As I said, the Karima Freighter. This vessel was roughly comparable in size to a Cardassian Galar class warship. Although this vessel should not be mistaken for a warship, it was an incredibly durable vessel. It was defended by a very, very strong and robust hull and powerful shields. It's unknown what kind of weapons, if any, this vessel was carrying, but the vessel basically carried a crew of 24, but dedicated its entire internal space, or at least as much as it could justify, outside of any systems needed to propel the vessel through space and keep the crew alive, to cargo carrying. The Karima, as a trading state, sold a considerable amount of materials to the Dominion and to other powers. The kind of exports the Karima also dealt in were varied. These varied from types of wine, which was exported to the Alpha Quadrant via the Ferengi, wool that they sold to the Federation, and torpedoes that they sold, surprise surprise, to the Dominion. These vessels were the ships that were used to carry those systems and technologies and weapons and wines all over the Dominion, all over the Gamma Quadrant and as far into the Alpha Quadrant through the Bajoran wormhole. The vessels are technologically sophisticated, capable of speeds in excess of warp 8. Their maximum top speed is as yet unknown, but they did have the distinctive feature of a fairly peculiar looking nacelle pylon, which actually had a sort of negative space along the rear half of the nacelle, which is fairly unusual. This is also the part of the engine that had any energy emanation coming from it, which is the sort of glow of the coils as they are generating the warp field, but with the negative space, the way the ship generates a warp field must be a little different, but we don't really get much of a feel for that. Later vessels encountered in, well, later vessel encountered in 2381 at, at Deep Space Nine was using this same hull configuration, meaning basically the Karima got a design, they liked it, they ran with it, and they didn't really adapt it much. It's unknown exactly how long the ship has been in use, but as I said, this vessel was a very A to B ship. It had a drive section, an engineering, engines, and cargo bays, and pretty much nothing else. To a testament to Kar Karima engineering, one of these vessels was once shut down by the Jem'Hadar. The fact that it survived that attack at all, it then got stuck in the atmosphere of a Class J world, a very oppressive, heavily dense atmosphere and the kind of depth that would crush a normal starship fairly quick, this vessel was able to survive. It wasn't able to pull itself back out, but this is a testament to the survivability and robustness of the design that the ship was able to survive for rescue by the Federation via the USS Defiant. Basically, these ships were tough as nails, and they could take the beating, but they probably couldn't really give it. This could have been a restriction imposed on the Karima by the Dominion, who simply didn't want them to arm their ships. But more likely, it's simply that the Karima did have weapons, we just didn't really see much of them. General estimates of the vessel, though, as I said, it's roughly the same size as a Cardassian Galar class warship. Its length is approximately 370 meters by 140 meters wide, with a height of 80 meters meaning it's a medium-sized vessel, to put it in Starfleet terms, it's closer in size to an Excelsior class, although it is a bit smaller, or bigger than Voyager, but smaller than the Excelsior. It's in that kind of size range. For a freighter, it's a medium-sized freighter by Federation standards, as Federation freighters tend to be quite large. Look at even vessels dating back to the 22nd century, such as the J-class 
or the Y-class freighters, they were considerably larger than the NX-class starship, which was a couple hundred meter long vessel in its own right. So these ships were medium-sized, but a lot of the vessels that came out of the Gamma Quadrant did seem to be of a smaller scale, only with the Dominion building ships like the Battleship, and even then not many of them. It seems to have been the sort of mindset of races like the Karima, and Starfleet for that matter, to build ships smarter, not bigger. How many of them they had? Unknown, likely a lot, based on Dominion production lines and how wealthy the Karima were as one of the main trading powers of the Gamma Quadrant. The, as I said, the exact fleet distribution is unknown, but they are one of the foremost powers. It's reasonable to assume, and this is only an assumption, that they had a lot of them. But that is the beginning and end of the intelligence we have on the Karima starship. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything about this vessel that you like, you love, you hate. And again, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. I'd just like to say a thank you to everyone for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy making these. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving a like, share and a subscribe and maybe checking out the other videos on the screen right now. And in the description box below, there are links to my other social media accounts.